Gideon Long is in Chile to see what they're doing there to increase the supplies of fresh water. From bone dry deserts in the north to rain and snow in the south, the weather here in Chile is extremely diverse. Some areas get no rainfall at all, making getting water for crops a huge challenge. But here at the Catholic University in Santiago, scientists may have an answer, and it involves collecting water from fog. The idea of catching fog in a net may seem as fanciful as catching a wave upon the sand, but it is possible and it is happening around the world. Here in Chile, Juan de Dios Rivera is a global expert who's aiming to perfect fog collection to bring much needed fresh water to poor isolated communities. So once you've collected the water from the fog, what can you use it for? Anything. It's fresh water, so you can use it for drinking, for any uh, household use, for uh, irrigating plants, and even for industrial pr purposes. This is not a new technology, and it's been developed in other countries in the world as well. What's different about what you're doing here? We're focusing in producing water in large quantity for larger community, focusing on providing to poor community in uh, very isolated areas. I want to talk a little bit about the potential for this technology. How useful could it be? We think that it can be very useful. There are many places in the world where you, you will find lack of sufficient fresh water and also the presence of this fog. And how much could it mean in terms of saving for farmers and who don't have to find other ways of, of irrigating their fields? Well, our benchmark is seawater desalination. We, we think that fog water should be less expensive than seawater desalination. Research into fog harvesting is carried out in Chile because here, part of the Atacama Desert hasn't had rainfall for hundreds of years, but it does get plenty of fog. Juan chooses his test sites in locations that are remote and where people need fresh water the most. Today we are in Majada Blanca. This is a site close to La Serena. Here we have uh, three large fog collectors in which we collect water for watering a plot of land we have down below in the valley. This is a Rochelle mesh woven with a round filament and uh, the uh, little thread will collect the water, the droplets from the fog, and uh, by gravity the, the droplet will roll down and fall into this trough. So this trough will collect all this water and bring it down to a pipe that will drive it to a water tank where we store it for later use. We are very close to the ocean, to the Pacific Ocean, and over a large expanse of the Pacific Ocean forms a stratocumulus cloud. This cloud is pushed toward the continent by the prevailing winds, and when it hits a mountain high enough, it turns into fog. So this area in which we are, we are standing now uh, the plants that live in here, they collect water from the fog that uh, helps to survive. The plants here are doing the same job we are asking from the collector. So we are studying the plants to learn from them how to be more efficient in collecting the water. At this moment, we are in the plot of land. We are uh, watering with the water from the fog collectors, with olive trees, uh, grapevines, and also another kind of tree called Acacia saligna. In this moment, the future is a bit uncertain because it depends a lot on the people of this community. At the present time, all this valley or this area is of no use to them because of the lack of water. So if they are convinced that it's going to be a good business for them and they could make a, out a living of uh, farming this uh, land with fog water, then this project will uh, grow and will become um, a very useful thing for the people. So while that was just one test site, it's Juan's ambition to make fog harvesting a useful and viable option for the masses. So once you've got the design right for this mesh, could you, in theory, build one 100 metres across? How big can you go? We think that there is no limit. 
Uh, imagine, for instance, uh, two mountains, OK? And maybe we could drive a cable from the top of one mountain to the top of the other one. And from there, we, can, we could hang a very big mesh. So you just drop a mesh over an entire valley and collect right. the fog as it comes yes. through the mesh. Yes, this is a concept. So this is an old technology that's been around for some time. How long do you think it will be before you perfect it? Um, we always have the analogy of wind turbines. Wind turbines, 50 years ago, uh, they were small windmills. But in the past 50 years, the technology has been developed, and now we have huge wind turbines. Can you imagine a situation in the future where we have fog collecting farms? Absolutely, yes. We, we, we are aiming for that, uh, that scenario.